next few nights we will be staying here in this Chinook helicopter. This old helicopter is located here at the Moto Ranch and is available on Airbnb for about $200 right now. Right outside of Brooksville, Florida. If you haven't ever seen any of our past Airbnb stays, be sure to check out our series in the Catskills of New York. But when we found out that there was a helicopter we could stay in, we had to check it out for ourselves. So we got invited out here to spend a couple nights and really had no idea what to expect going into it. Climb aboard. Isn't that what they say in an airplane? What do they say for a helicopter? Do they say climb aboard? Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper! When we finally got here, we were greeted at the front gate and it kind of looked like we were entering an army base. It took us down the long road that we drove for forever. And when I say forever, it's a long time. <laughs> and then this is when we really questioned what we were getting ourselves into. We took a turn onto a dirt road and had to start off-roading in the bus. All we were thinking at this point is we were really hoping it opens up into a clearing because there was no way we'd be able to turn the bus around here. So once we entered, we could get stuck. We took it slow, and at the end of the road, we reach another gate. <laughs> we checked the guide info they sent us, put in the code, and we're in. Good news, we had plenty of space to park the bus, and let me tell you, we can't wait to see what the inside of this thing looks like. All right, y'all, we made it. We're here. Don't know how we made it through the dirt trails, but we did. Mercy of God. <laughs> but we're going in, let's go check this place out. It looks pretty cool. I'm very skeptical. Like, how, how is the rooms in there? There's a shower, apparently online, they say it's in there, and like a full-on kitchen. So, let's go check it out. Get to the chapel. <laughs> let's go. Ooh, we got a hammock. Moving on in though, we got a little, little patio area here. Oh, we have cornhole. We should play cornhole. Beach any time. <laughs> Six try is the charm. Five. Your turn. <laughs> oh. It hit me. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> First try. Oh, that's cool. They have like our own little bar top. It looks like it's apart from the helicopter. Not sure what part it is, because I don't really know my. Chinooks very well. And here's another little part. So it looks like they're taking probably parts from the helicopter and they are converting it and touching it into the little patio area, which is really cool. We also have a camouflaged uh, canopy, which is cool. It, it, it makes me feel like I crashed my helicopter in the middle of the woods and then like you find the airmen who were down and they're like they kind of built their own little life here it's cool it's got a cool feel to it so this is like the whole back kind of porch area with your canopy there's a grill down here and like a little yard section that I haven't really looked at yet all right so we're going in this is the side door to the helicopter looks like there's a padlock so I gotta figure that out first but got the code oh it worked here we go here goes nothing Ah! <laughs> oh wow, it's like the whole entire door. Follow me. Doors open. Come on in. Finally in the helicopter. We entered the middle of it. We're in the heart of it right now. So the living room and the kitchen area. So we'll go this way first. Looks like we have a couch. I think it's a pull out so it can pull out into a bed. So right off the bat, the walls in here are actually really cool. I like how they preserved a lot of the details of the helicopter by just putting these plexiglass in here because you can actually like see all of the original paneling, decals, all the lettering. Like that's just, that's just cool to see. It really makes you feel like you're actually in the plane here. Helicopter. What is this? Oh, these must be for the lights. Yeah, we could turn the blue light on behind you. That's pretty cool. And keeping the circle windows, I'm in love with. They just have all these little canvas drop downs for covering the windows. Just throw those over. And then we have a full on kitchen over here. These counters actually look like handmade. They look like they, they did them themselves, which is pretty cool. Oh wow, they have like actual gears. And oh, the, the MR for uh, motor range. Counters are on, on theme with the brand. This is actually a big fridge for such a little area. They got these dome lights everywhere. They're, they're pretty cool too. You can definitely see like all of the copper theming in here. Copper sink, copper here. And and just some like the, the details, like even the ch chains here that make it look like it's all just like being held up. It's very almost like steampunk 
vibes. Yeah, what are these? Yeah, they're just like little uh, tactical bags here that have anything, you know, bottle openers or lighters or anything like that. So just, just little cool details like that that kind of preserve like the, the Air Force Army feel of it, but then also making it still functional. Let's keep moving. I believe this is the bathroom. Oh, these are really cool light switches. Very industrial. This is actually a pretty big size bathroom considering we're inside of a helicopter right now. It's pretty cool. I, li I like how they have, it's pretty like secluded and like surprisingly big for the size. I like that a lot. And into one of, look at this room guys. Like, are you, like we're flying, we're gonna be sleeping with the captain. We're not sleeping with the captain. <laughs> that wouldn't be good <laughs> unless you're the captain. <laughs> but it's literally the cockpit of the helicopter. So you're sleeping in the cockpit. <laughs> got me. <laughs> I mean, they've got, they've got everything in here from the headphones to the, Steering wheels, whatever this thing does. <laughs> well, got a red button here, but I feel like they always tell you not to push the red button. It's the first button I'm gonna press. Doesn't do nothing. I'd probably be really bad at defrost. We're in the middle of Florida. <laughs> VH. Someone explain to me what that means. One of the cool things in here is actually they actually have a lot of the old dash gear linked to some LED lights. Like here, these are dash LEDs, and you can kind of see it right now. You can't. It's in the middle of the day, but these turn on lights behind here. I just found these back here too. There's a another light, and that turns on these overhead lights here too. <laughs> Looks like we're flying right into our home on wheels in our car. <laughs> And then your bedroom's right here. Oh, and there's a TV. Wow, there's so much headspace up here. I wasn't really sure what to expect when I walked in here because from the outside, obviously it's a helicopter, but I didn't know if the inside would be a total like normal house kind of thing. They really kept the metal, all the wires. I feel like, I mean, I'm literally sleeping on a helicopter. Now let's go check out backside. The first time, come and look at this. The first time I saw this, I legit thought I was gonna fall through the floor because I was like going to get, like I was walking this way. But this is really cool because it's another Motor Ranch symbol. They kind of have these hidden throughout, which is really on theme and it's really cool that they customized that into the helicopter. We'll have to show you guys this at night. Wow, we have a disco party in here. <laughs> when it gets dark out, we'll do another like little review at nighttime. Actually, one thing on that note is like the, for the privacy doors, they have one for that bedroom too here, but just like these big old army canvases and then these just hook on over here. And then that's your, your bedroom privacy. That actually works pretty well, but anyway. <laughs> and walking towards the back of the helicopter, let's go check out this last room. Oh, this one actually has like full on, like full French doors back here, which is really nice because we can just go right outside. And there it is. The Chinook in all of its glory. <laughs> These are a bunch of words I do not. What is a vibration absorber? <laughs> Rescue hose winch. This shows all the parts of it, which is crazy because it's showing the top compartments even above that obviously we, we can't get to, but when it was in its glory, that's what it looked like. All the artwork that they scattered throughout the house here are all just, you know, like checklists or just little tiebacks like that. It's very themed, which is cool. Even their little motor ranch logo hidden behind the, the glass there. The ceiling here, they have some of it where they have their custom panels on it, but then other parts like this is actual, like part of the helicopter roof. This would be like the back of the helicopter, right? Where they, they jump out. Do you jump out of helicopters? This is super cool. This honestly, I, I really liked the cockpit bedroom, but this one's got like my own little private like terrace out on the back. Technically, you guys are off the helicopter right now. <laughs> you jumped right off. You can just imagine the airmen holding onto these for dear life before they had to jump. This is technically what, the loading zone, I think? Come out here in the morning, just chill. I really like this outside piece a lot. Let's head on down. Looks like there's like a airplane wing that they converted into a little table. We have a grill, hose, little side yard. Looks like we have a basketball court, a little pad too with a ball. So we might have to go play on that. Y'all know I y'all know I used to ball. I didn't, I was never actually on a team. <laughs> I guess we made it full circle. We ended up back where we started. Yeah, I mean, too bad it's just the two of us here because like we got this whole bench set up for all of our friends, but got no friends here. So it's gonna be us here in a helicopter for the next few days. Surrounding us all throughout this is trails all throughout the woods, all ATV, motorcycle, I think there's like mountain bike. They're all just dirt trails. We'll just be sitting in here and just hear like a motorcycle go ripping by. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and just like cut out, edit the sky so it's like all blue. It would be terrible. You try. No, I ain't trusting my way on you. I can hold you. <laughs> you definitely can't. Step further back. <laughs> See, really that's not how that works. How does it work 
happen. <laughs> you waited like half of me. Yeah, that's true. So it's pretty much sunset, it's getting dark. Uh, so we're gonna go make some food, maybe watch a movie. I'm excited to see it at nighttime though. I think it's gonna give off like a, a spaceship vibe. Darker outside now, so we try to get some like mood lighting going on in here. Sure. Start with over here. This, I think, if we just give a nice little glow, that's pretty cool. This is our young mood lighting, but we could do the kitchen, but I'm gonna make food. But <laughs> give me a little dark light here. Wait, wait, just turn that one. Yeah, then you can keep that one on. That's it. And this one is already on mood lighting. There it is. Gotta try out the, the dash lights now, too. All right, watch this. Ready? We're coming in for a landing. The dash is really cool. We were sitting here and Andy's like, I hear, why do I hear ticking? Like a clock. And I was like, well, <laughs> it wasn't here, but <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> but that the steering wheel, the clock's on the inside. No. I'm not sure above like too. You're as nothing. He's crazy. <laughs> no, it's just a Thursday night. <laughs> I'm about to make banana bread. Who am I kidding? I'm about to get in my pajamas. It's eight o'clock. It's a hot dog. Insert that. <laughs> All right, so we are in. Follow me. It looks to see that we are. We entered the middle of the helicopter. So, try again. Huh? Try again. Looks to see. And we have a full on kitchen, actually. Like pots, pans, pots, oven. Pans. See what mischievous activities. It's like the little dehydrated snacks. If I was a downed airman. You'd be searching through things. Don't worry, I dumped some water on it. Came back to life. <laughs> That's literally what it reminds me of. What's that movie with Will Smith and his son? It's called like After Earth or something. And they find like the abandoned plane. And they like look through all the fridges and the freezers and like try to find food. They're wearing like those like gray slick suits. He's looking it up. I, I know that I'm right. Is it a thing? 